Florida State kicked off the Seminole Invitational today with many athletes' personal bests. It's turned into a really incredible competition. We thought South Carolina, you know, Rutgers were the first few teams, and then Tennessee came in. Wow, that's it's, it's a good meet. Ohio State's come in, and then you get schools like Jacksonville and North Florida and South Florida that are good in different areas, and so there's no bad events here. You know, we had some PRs in the 800. Uh, Jake Burton got his regional mark. Matt Butler, big PR, that was good. Um, Joe Gale Petricate in the, in the long jump went 640. That's a huge PR for her and one that she's been chasing the last year and a half. The story of the day today was Florida State's throwers under the leadership of Dorian Scott. Solid day overall. Um, the girls have been practicing really, really hard. Um, obviously real happy with uh, Veronica's 68-58 uh, and then Kellyanne's good consistency. Um, I'm really happy with the girls overall. They, they all really stay consistent and hit some big marks, so it's nice. Probably most impressive was Kellyanne Nib breaking a Mike Long track record for the longest discus throw for a woman with 57.99. I mean, a record is always good. Um, I feel good about the record, but today was just all in all an okay day for me. I would have preferred to throw over 58.59 just to prepare for like ACC championships. I'm really in tune with my coach, so that helps a, a whole lot. Like, I feel like we're on the same level as far as technique goes, he knows what I need to do and I know what he wants me to do. So I just come out and try to, ex try to execute. Track and field athletes will be back out tomorrow all day at Mike Long Track.